Where is the one place on earth that photographers from around the world travel to so they can photograph a herd of wild horses running through shallow water? These are the horses of the Camargue. I'm standing in the world famous Camargue region of southern France and we are about to photograph the horses of the Camargue. Ever since I first saw a photo of the horses of the Camargue 10 years ago, I knew I had to travel here to take my own photos. What is so compelling about these photos to me is the reflection off the water, the power and the wildness of the animals, and the contrast between their white fur and the background. I wanted to come home with an epic photo that would inspire others to learn photography. So I hosted a workshop here and photographers from around the world joined me to capture their own fine art photos. So the horses just did their very first run and they get pushed by cowboys who are called the guardians of the Camargue. And the guardians themselves are on horseback and they care for these horses and they have lived here for generations. And what was really interesting for the very first run of horses, and there's so many mosquitoes here, it's not even funny, but I've, I'm loaded with mosquito repellent, but it's not doing any good. Anyway, they tried to get the first batch of horses to run through the water. And those horses really have a mind of their own. And even though it's really nice and warm, it was almost like those horses were just saying, I don't want to get wet and I don't want to walk through this water. But they eventually did, they ran towards us and we got some really nice shots for the first run of the day. So the way this typically works is that there are usually about 10 runs of horses for each session. And for this particular workshop that I'm hosting, we have three sessions. Two of them are sunset and one of them is a sunrise. So far the lighting has been absolutely fantastic. So this is private land and the only way that you would be able to get these types of photos is if you book yourself onto a professional photographer's workshop. If you're in any of the public lands you just won't be able to find this opportunity. And obviously it, it takes money in order to be able to hire the guardians of the Camargue to bring their horses and push them through the water. But wow, do you ever get some beautiful photos, beautiful reflections off the water. One of the composition tricks that you have to make sure of is that as the horses are running towards you, that you are compensating so that the reflection off the water is part of the overall shot because your natural inclination is to uh, leave a lot of sky. But you've got to bring that camera down so that the reflection makes up half of the image and you're not cutting off the bottom of the reflection. So it looks like they're just about to get started again for run number two. So it's kind of funny because just after the very first run, the Guardians had them all lined up ready to go and then a leader in the pack turned around and said, enough of this and led all of the other horses back into the main field. So now the guardians have gone into the main field to go get them, to bring them back out. So this is our second shoot, and this is a sunrise shoot. And for this one, because the horses are a very long distance away, I'm using a 200 to 400 millimeter lens. But the ideal setup really is to have two camera bodies so that you can have your big zoom lens on one camera body, then have a second body hanging around your neck with more of a wide angle lens so that as the horses get really close, you pick up that second body and get them down low with the wide angle, which are actually the best shots. So we're at our third spot right now and it's a sunset shoot. This one is a completely different location than the first two and it seems like the horses were much more voluntarily running with some real aggression into some really deep water and it was a fantastic 
chute tonight. Uh, the horses emerged out of the bush, out of the trees, and into this really deep water and just ex made the water explode all around. So with a fast shutter speed and zoomed in at 200 millimeters, uh, ISO was a little bit high at 400. I think we all as a group got some absolutely fantastic shots tonight. It made the whole experience really worthwhile. And I know that everybody on this workshop is going to come away with one, two, probably five or ten real winners, ten out of ten type of photos. It's been so fun. Taking photos of moving animals and wildlife is much more difficult than it looks. The number one goal is to have a sharp photo and equally as important is to have a photo with a great looking composition because composition is everything in photographs. It's the foundation, the cornerstone of every good photo. And for these photos, I was looking to take photos using the principle of balance and symmetry so that the photo would be balanced from side to side and that there would also be reflections in the photo wherever possible. I loved this experience and I cannot wait to come back. So the town that is in the Camargue is called Saint Marie de la Mer and it is a gorgeous town right on the Mediterranean Ocean. It's got some pretty nice looking beaches. It's very popular with tourists and with uh, locals and it's got dozens and dozens of restaurants, shops, stores, hotels. It's a very beautiful place to stay. The Camargue is not all that Everg Everglades kind of look it, and, and actually it does remind me of the Everglades but uh, it does have this gorgeous town here. Here's the funny thing, as I'm looking at all these postcards right here, and I'm seeing lavender and horses of the Camargue and sunflower fields and beautiful little French stone houses, kind of reminds me of fishing, where when you want to go fishing, it's a heck of a lot cheaper to go to the store and buy some fish as opposed to actually fishing. Same thing with photography trips. If you really want the photos, it's really a lot cheaper just to go buy the postcard. But we do it because we love it and we're creating our own art, right? If you want to start taking award-winning photos that you are proud of, then you need to be using a framework or a system for every photo that you take. My photography went from awful to awesome once I started using a four-step system. You can learn more about the Photography Transformation 4-Step System and how it can transform your photography so that you will be taking your own award-winning photos by clicking the link in the description and watching the free web class.